No doubt that South Africa is fast becoming a force to be reckoned with in the film industry. Renowned local filmmaker Manda Dube brings to life the action thriller Silverton Siege. The movie is based on true facts, instrumental in shaping our political history and sparked the Free Mandela movement back in 1980. The film boasts an incredible cast, which includes veteran South African actor Arnold Forsler, known for his wealth of both local and international work. Tanya Neft sits down with Dube and Forsler. All units move in. When I was a little boy, I watched the police gun down my parents. I made a promise to myself that I wouldn't stop until I avenged them. I've been wanting to tell this story uh, for a long time, you know, ever since I was introduced to what happened. It traumatized me because I, I was 10 years old when it happened. I saw this newspaper spread in the front page. There were these bodies laid out on the floor with bullet wounds, you know, gushes, really, to tell you the truth, and it traumatized me as a kid. And I remember my father once asking me, like, what are you going to do when you grow up to contribute to South Africa? And, and, and I took on that challenge, I suppose, as a, as a, at an a, 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 a early age. Tell me what it is you want. We want the immediate release of Nelson Mandela. When this happened, I was 17 or 18. I, was, I think I was in matric. But I completely uh, was over my head, you know, we, I didn't, wasn't aware of it, I wasn't following the news. When you're 17, you follow the hit parade and mm. the girls at school. <laughs> so this just was not on my radar. And, and one of the great joys or the sort of cathartic things for me as a, as a person and as an artist is that I was able to come back and uh, help Mandla tell the story and use my skills to tell the story of these three incredibly brave guys. I mean, they were, what, 27, 25 yeah. years? You know, think of that, just, you know, taking on the state, you know, with nothing, you know, yeah. the clothes on their backs and the AK-47. Why are you doing this? What does it prove? Give us some idea of what goes into putting a film of this magnitude together in a time of a pandemic as well. It's called voodoo cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, that's what happened. We, it's voodoo magic, and we, we, we were able to realize it. But it also takes, um, you know, uh, uh, a lot of concentration, immersing yourself in a deep dive into this world so that whatever happens is organic. It's not a thing of, you know, it's calculated, we'll do this and that. So, look, we shot with at, at one given time, we had like 300 plus people on set for a good 40 days of yeah. principal photography and another 60 of prep and only one COVID case. If you stick to the facts, to the truth of the world, it's bound to be authentic in front of the screen. It's bound to move your audience to be able to go for the right. Do not fire, I repeat, do not fire. I get the shot! No! What's the price of freedom? I don't know. Everything. 